for the last round of this Disciple of the Void release event. Uh, I'm Victor again here with Travis for VTTV Live. And so <laughs> uh, I think at the beginning of this event we mentioned that there was only two, two Phoenix players. And unfortunately neither of them made it to the top tables. But we decided to bring Zachary back from round one as he is uh, the player currently in first place. And he's facing off against yeah. Sungho, and they're both playing. This is the only Scorpion. match with two undefeated players. Yeah, yeah. There's one other undefeated player, but they have been uh, paired down. So, so uh, just for those people who are watching on YouTube, someone on uh, on the Twitch chat mentioned asked if uh, support of the Phoenix was a legal role for uh, clans to play during this event, and the answer, I believe, is yes. I think only the elemental roles are the ones that are the ones that were chosen during the winter court are the only ones that uh, have that restriction that clans can't play an elemental role other than the one that was chosen. Uh, but yeah, support of the phoenix I believe is a role that is open to every clan as of right now. Yeah, I don't think we had anyone playing the the new role or the new stronghold. We had a couple phoenix players, but they were using the old. Uh, well, the the phoenix role. player that we had on on round one, Norm, I talked to him. He said that he didn't have a chance to pick up the pack before this morning. I mean, I imagine that's probably the case with the other yeah. player as well. Uh, so, <laughs> Anyway, sorry, to, to go to the game, we have, uh, I believe, uh, Zachary was the first player, and we see uh, a double Bayushi manipulator flop. Uh, of course, really strong, especially in uh, control mirrors, like Scorpion is. And, uh, yeah, lets you draw some extra cards. They're both saying, yeah, we're going to tr both trigger the uh, Bayushi manipulator, both draw some six cards up. So, um, I am I'm I'm quite familiar with. Uh, sorry, you got to change that to crab again. Oh, I. <laughs> you I, got the. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> um, I I but anyway, yeah, Zach, Zach is actually running a scorpion crab and not scorpion unicorn. But a, a, so as I was saying during round one, uh, we if you were watching during round one, Zachary's scorpion deck was actually quick and brutal. He managed to win the game in like I think two or three turns. Uh, versus uh, Sungho's Scorpion Dragon, which is typically a bit more controlly. So we'll see exactly how this fit shakes out. But it's going to be a void military conflict with a Yogo Outclassed against Secret Cash. So Secret Cash is going to let uh, Zachary uh, look at the top five cards of his deck, keep one of those in his hand. Uh, Yogo Outcast is not turned on just yet. Hitting Seeker Cash, always a good good feeling, especially if you can keep it around for more than one conflict. So one of the interesting things here, uh, I think in this mirror matchup is, well, number one, uh, Way of the Scorpion. Oh, there was an assassination just played by Zach. Uh, so yeah, Way of the Scorpion is going to be a mostly dead card in this game. And there's like a double assassination. <laughs> so, uh, Sung Ho loses three honor as well. And I think he was, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, Zachary was uh, debating for a second whether or not to use the 4G Edict in his hand. Uh, elects not to. Now, the funny thing is I actually see uh, Bayushi Kachiko. He brought that to the front of his deck and he does have six fate. So, yeah. He, he, he might actually, might what he do what he might do here is, uh, oh, no, 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 he doesn't yeah, so win that. I, I yeah. think he, the instant assassination response was just to prevent the uh, yeah. Zachary from being able to use his uh, stronghold. Right. Oh, that's very smart. So, so what, uh, what I'm thinking is that, I mean, this is just based off Zachary bringing his Kachiko to the front. And yeah, yeah he's just going to play it. Play it with one fate. One fate. And I think just throw a Pathfinder Blade on it, yep. And probably just poke at something with a mil uh, with a political conflict. Earth. Oh, does Sunho not have any uh, let goes in his hand? Ooh. Yeah. No, I see, a, 
It's a little luckier for. Uh, I see. I actually see a lot of dead cards in Sungo's hand. I see a Way of the Scorpion. Ooh, Meditations. But he does have Pathfinder's Way. So I see a Way of the Scorpion. I see a Censure, and I see a Cloud of the Mind. All of which cannot be played <laughs> against Kachiko, or at least this conflict. We did have Let Go. Oh, he was hiding Let Go. I think if you were going to use a 4G Dict here, is the perfect time to do it. And you do have a court games to rehonor, so yeah. yeah. Better nice. have her dishonored for and around for another round. Well, oh, no, no, okay. the court games to rehonor. Uh, Fred the Impaler asks, "How are the rounds time? Just one hour per round?" Yep, we're using standard tournament rules, which states that each round is one hour long. Yeah, and I guess we haven't been saying, but we yeah. are doing three rounds today. So this will be the last round today. Yeah. And uh, I think we're going to be putting up these videos on YouTube uh, within a few days. So any of you who are watching who just tuned in, uh, fear not. You can uh, watch the other two games on YouTube when we put them up. So that will be a break. Yeah. <clears throat> so I was, as I was saying in round one, uh, it does seem that Zachary is very aggressive when it comes to playing Scorpion. So it, an early Bayushi Kachiko play is not, it tends not to be something that I, I see very often. Right. Uh, from Scorpion players, but yeah. So yeah, Earth with Bayushi Manipulator. I think he's forcing Zachary to use the favored ground here, and a four shame to dishonor Bayushi Kachiko. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Policy debate, perhaps. No, he's just gonna, yeah. So this is, yeah. So I believe, <clears throat> yeah. I don't think anybody's gonna get the, get this ring here. But it, this play does guarantee that Zachary gets the favor, imperial favor, which is, uh, I don't know if, I don't know if uh, Zachary knows what's in Sungho's list, but you know, keeping that center blank is huge. Yeah, I'm guessing Sun Hill must have missed, missed the uh, favorable ground. I say it wouldn't have been, it wasn't worth it to lose the favor. He he would have lost the favor anyway, because Zachary has one one conflict one. So even if he didn't, but, but if he, no, no, but oh, I see the one the, the yeah. one glory left on You're the right. uh, manipulator. Yeah. You're right, Travis. Yeah, I missed that. Uh, so Zachary does take this exchange. Sunko does bring three fate into this round, so we have a bit more to play with. Yep. The Kachiko is, is dishonored, so this is not quite as uh, scary as she might normally be. It's still effective, but. And actually, I think this is a matchup where we're going to see, uh, assuming that uh, illustrious plagiarist sticks around, we're actually going to see maybe a lot of use out of that card. Yeah. Because we're, we're talking about two event-heavy clans here. Wow, showed you now on the flop as well. So yeah, so the first play, Illustrious Plagiarist, probably with two fate on it. And not only does this allow, <clears throat> allow uh, Sung Ho to play some events from Zack's discard pile, it also turns on that Cloud the Mind that's hiding in Sung Ho's hand. I see a full art card in Zach's hand. I'm not sure what that is. It looked like an attachment of some sort. Uh, oh, it's a full art Cloud the Mind? Cloud the Mind? I didn't know Wait, there was full art. Scorpion. Oh, you'll see it. It's an attachment. It's a full art attachment. Full art attachment? Yeah. I didn't know they had full out Cloud the, Mi Cloud the Minds. Well, it's in the... Uh, oh, is it no. in the Stronghold kit? No. Maybe. So anyway, Zach plays the Yogo Outcast. Was it in the, was it in the Kote uh, kits? Maybe. This Kote kits? With the Kote price support. Oh, maybe. Interesting. Sung Ho uses Plagiarist as his only play. Now we're probably just going to see a Cloud of Mine here uh, on Zach's side.
Cloud the Mine. Oh, <laughs> Cloud the Mine and Plagiarist. Now, yeah, for the Magistrate yeah. stage, they Cloud the Mine. i got to check something quick, because I see that new uh, Scorpion character. Ah, it's Spell Event. Okay, that's why I was wondering if you could counter it. Yeah. So, Cloud the Mine on Kachiko, Cloud the Mine on Plagiarist. Sungo has a first opportunity to clear a conflict here. Wow, he's thinking about hard casting uh, Yogo Kukuyo. Maybe. We'll see. No, he's just going to go for a political, political fire. Oh, it's tough, man. Like, you don't want to go back to secret cash. No, but uh, nothing else is yeah. it's all bad, right? Yeah. Eh, that's not that bad. No. And that's the best he's going to get. Like, pilgrimage yeah. would have been terrible. Uh, Did you see if he defended anything yet? Anything yet? No, he hasn't indicated yet. I'm going to defend with Pacheco, it looks like. All right, so it's going to be four to four. Uh, so first action we using the meditations to remove the fate from the plagiarist. And here's a four shame to bow Kachiko. Very nice. How is the plagiarist at four? Oh, is it? Sorry, my bad. I thought plagiarist was a one four. Zach just asking how many cards are in Sungo's hand. It is nine. Hmm. An ornate fan. Oh, I see. He's putting the ornate fan down so he can uh, send the plagiarist home. Oh, very smart play by Sungo here. He's going to use his favorable ground to send his own plagiarist home. So, heads up play by Sungo here. Zachary, what is the ring with the favor? You just yeah. still have the strength even with a bad character. Not no surprise going for water. Seeing if you can get, can't get that, uh, she go back up. Mm, shameful display on uh, City of Lies there. Yeah. So his first action is going to be to use the shameful display. So that's going to go 2 to 1, I think. You know, it's funny. I Yeah, I don't think I don't think Zachary wants to push. Oh, a policy okay. debate. Nice. So 4 to 1. So after after Zachary's explosive start, we're starting to see Sungo stabilize a little bit here. Um, I, I understand the Yogo outcast play. It was because he needed to uh, cloud the mind the plagiarist. So that made sense. But I think that let... Uh, well, I don't know. Because, you know, it, Zach didn't know that Sungho was going to hit meditations. No. Right? So who knows? That plagiarist might have stuck around for... <laughs> For two turns. So I understand that play, but that lets Sungho stabilize a little bit. And you see Sungho's actually not using the box yet to take an honor back just because he wants to make sure that that Yogo outcast doesn't have an, uh, an opportunity to turn on. Yeah, there's no reason to, to do it early. I always jump the gun with that because, it, because for me, I feel like my opponent's just going to assassinate and so ruin my chances. So it's interesting. You did see a 5-bit yeah. from uh, Zach. He did try to pitch it. Sungho did preempt it. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he did that because... Um, he did that because now he can turn on the uh, Yogo Outcast, right? Because now... That still, Sungho still does win there. He does win? Isn't it... Isn't it uh, it's 2-2 two two now. 
It's a military conflict. No, the policy debate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sung, Sung Ho, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Did, did they not resolve the policy debate? Anyway, we're just gonna fix that. Oh no no no! He doesn't he doesn't win because uh, yeah because when he won the policy debate, the the strength by the Yoga Outcast got buffed up by one, so it's seven to seven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I caught that too, right as you were walking over. <laughs> So, so anyway, sorry we that was uh, we missed that, but that was a bonsai play uh, by Sung Ho that allowed him to uh, to not lose that military conflict. So now we see Sung Ho playing his own by Yoshika Chiko, and uh, I think we go after meditations here. Yeah, and just break it now. Yeah. Just discussing their uh, earlier plays. Yeah. Military. Uh, I guess he did do a political before. I think he had a charge in hand, but that seems... I guess playing it for free. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. But I mean, yeah, and and uh, Zach can't counter it because he's got his courtiers dishonored already, so... Yeah, yeah. I mean, he might as well. Yeah. I mean, he still has potential for centuries, right? Yeah, there's also an assassinate in Zach's hand, so... He can actually... You can actually fire off the assassinate to prevent this uh, from breaking. Is it worth it, though? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. So, Zach loses one honor uh, from undefended. Yep, I already got it. And, yeah, very beautiful full art way of the Scorpio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's like, oh, okay. Yeah, get rid of my dead card. <laughs> Well, now you don't have any favorite knee spotter. Oh. So now, yeah, the favor. I think it was just yeah. explaining how I could use my stronghold, but then you use your stronghold, so it's not even bothering. Yeah. It's pretty funny. So, actually. Just trading everything back and forth here. So, Zach now down to four. Now you can safely skill one after. Uh, yep. You got the steal buttons. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. It's, it's sometimes I forget how. The, uh, I need to make some of the buttons better. Like, so, who's stealing what from who? Yeah. <laughs> Sungho ever helpful getting his uh, getting the fate for his opponent. Yeah, if people don't know Sungho. He's uh, he's, he's the, the phantom best. Hand. Yeah, he's the phantom hand in a lot of our uh, top cuts. People watch Netrunner and all that stuff. He's the he's the greatest table judge in Toronto. <laughs> Sides to keep the shoji. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven fate on Zach's side. Another illustrious plagiarist, but this time there's no. Sh oh, okay, well, yeah, fire off the shoju first off. And then another illustrious plagiarist. Let's see if this one sticks this time. I mean, the other thing is, Sungo also has the uh, also has the. 
Yeah, also has the Imperial favor, yeah. so you can use censure. Man, th things are starting to look rough for Zach now. That early province break was huge, but you know, as long as uh, Sung Ho doesn't have any easily assassinatable targets. And, uh, you know, that policy debate can do some work in Zachary's hand, but... Is, uh, is the top event uh, Fortagetic, I think, maybe in Zachary's discard? Maybe. It's hard to tell. Uh, the last thing I remember him playing... Yeah. There may have been a court games after it. Oh, what do you think the bids are now with uh, Honor being so low? <laughs> yeah. Now, now the bids are starting to be... Because the thing is, in Scorpion, right... Like, you don't want to bid just one. No. You, you want to bid a little bit more because you want to... Oh, three to four. Yeah, I was going to say I expected a three from Zach. Oh, that's, uh, that's a really good play by Sungho there. Here, I'll do the... Yeah. yeah, Sungho had, the in had an incentive to bid high, too. Oh, another cloud of the mine. Yeah, Sungo had the incentive to bid high too because he wanted to turn off the Yogo Outcast. True. And now we'll cloud the mine on Shoju. Oh. This is where not having a Dragon Splash is, I think, really starting to hurt Zach here. <laughs> But a Pathfinder Blade going down on Shoujo's side. I mean, just because he's Cloud the Mind, it doesn't mean he can't uh, do a big political push, but let go on, yeah, let go on Sungho's side. Now, the funny thing is, I think, well, actually, he can't do it because uh, the Yoga Outcast is already dishonored. If, if the Yoga Outcast does become honored at some point, he could even... Uh, play calling in favors to move the Cloud the Mind off the Shoju onto the Yogo Outcast. But he's going to start with uh, looks like a void political conflict on the Bayushi Liars province with just Shoju. Shoju being at seven. Ooh, pilgrimage, yeah. So Shoju being at seven political is going to protect himself from Bayushi Kachiko's ability. So starting with the court games, targeting Shoju, that's actually going to bring him below the uh, political strength threshold to send him home. And here's a force shame as a follow-up. <laughs> so he's deciding... Yeah, he's now, this, because now you can just use... Yeah, Kachiko's ability. You're still winning the conflict because of the favor. Yeah. Man, that, that Imperial favor is just so tricky. Because sometimes you're like, okay, all the guys are bound, all the guys have sent home. Yeah. Uh, so they don't win, right? But it's that favor. So Sung Ho uh, indicates that he's copying for shame with the uh, illustrious plagiarist. Now, do you know if the, the top card thing is dynamic for Plagiarist? Uh, like, is it whatever the current top top card is? or I guess you choose no, so the top he, So now card. he has oh, that okay. action ability. I see. The okay. So he uses for shame uh, the topmost card, but he doesn't have a courtier participating currently. Well, actually... It is a courtier. Sorry, illustrious yeah, yeah. plagiarist is a courtier. So, Ooh. so court games bringing it up to five. Yeah, that's enough to break the pilgrimage. Ugh. I don't know if there's anything to do about it. Yeah. So yeah, water is going to probably ready Kachiko, maybe. Uh, well, no, so the option here is like maybe you just bow Yogo, deny him the chance to get the fade off that ring. That's true, actually. Yeah. Because you're going to win the ring. It doesn't really matter, right? So 
you know, chooses to ready Kachiko instead. I mean, looking at that, yes, you can deny the fate, but Zach already, already has a lot of fate, so that may not be a, a, a huge concern. Well, plus, you, plus uh, he can try to poke uh, at Secret Cache to yeah. break it. Yep. So. Oh, the other thing is, uh, does Senko have an assassinate in hand? Yes, he does. No. Uh, Zach has an assassinate. I'm not sure if Senko does. There's so many dead cards in Zach's hand, though. It's... Yeah. And here's Sungho Secret Cache. Oh. So, military. Yeah. I mean, obviously, things are good for Sungho now, but his advantage is not so much that uh, he's going to be able to finish Zach off. I don't yeah. think. Yeah. He was, he was thinking about policy debate, but I think charge might even be better, unless he just drew a uh, conflict character that he can play out. So, no defenders. Um, yeah, I don't think Sungho minds uh, losing some honor here to the air, prop, the air ring, because he can just steal it back. He's but, the man, instead assassinate, crazy. You know, in a way, that's just fine because he's uh, able to. Whoops. Yeah, because now he can actually. So he, I think he suspects that Zach doesn't have a lot of action in his hand. Yeah. So if he can bring the honor low enough, he can start bidding low, or forcing Zach to bid low so he can't draw a lot Man. of answers. I'm gonna take one now. Yeah. Just to make sure. Well, yeah. Now that the outcast is gone, you don't really need to worry. I mean, and he's going to be able to honor... He's going to be able to go fire ring here, and... Oh, he's going to keep putting... This is interesting. Yeah. Well... My air. It brings him to one, then he steals back to two. Uh. Oh, yeah, sorry. So, undefended, steals one. Yeah. And he breaks the province, too. So, yeah. Uh, did he not break the promise? Oh, yeah. yeah, he broke it. He's just he just has to flip it face down. Yeah. Yeah. Just remind him to flip it face down. So where we saw Zach had a really strong start, I think it turned out now that Sungho has has the uh, crushing advantage now. Yeah. And I don't think that <laughs> I don't think that illustrious plagiarist ever actually got used. Maybe last turn. Yeah. So Zachary's flop needs to be really good here. Yeah. Yeah. So if. if So we'll see if uh, Zach's uh, flop cooperates. Gestures with his hands. I'm not sure if that was like a good gesture or a bad gesture. Well, I mean, I, I think his gesture is you got to show Jason. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I mean, he's got to show you, and uh, he can deal with all of his characters. I don't know if any of those are Shigenja. I don't think so. Well, the uh, social illusionist is a Shigenja. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know if he has any clouds left, so. And man, we're seeing a similar situation to what we saw last round with Pat, where he, he was just had so much money but not a lot to do with it. Yeah. However, the difference is that Scorpion's events, they can tend to be expensive, yes. especially stuff like Fate Worse Than Death. But, you know, like, like I was saying a minute ago, uh, Zachary doesn't have a lot of cards that are relevant right now. Uh, policy debates and way of the scorpions and assassinates. Like the only assassinate target on, on Zachary, or sorry, on Sungho's side is Beishu Liar. Um, but the problem I, is, yeah, I don't think there's any assassinating yeah. going on. <laughs> yeah. Bid one, right? Uh, or does Sungho bid two? Sungho might give it to here just to make sure that. 
Oh. That's a smart play by Zach, bidding, bidding two there. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. But, I mean, you might be putting yourself in a dangerous position. Yeah. That, uh, well, that four shame is still the top. Yeah. Well, one thing to note, though, that... Um, Forge Edict is now online for okay, so he does Zach. He is going to copy that Forge Edict with the plagiarist. The Forge Shame, you mean? Forge Shame, sorry. Yep. Mm -hmm. Never mind. I don't even have the excuse of it being a long day. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. <laughs> Zach does get an action. Okay. Yeah, Sungo is going to take a look at his hand. Uh, just okay. showing over on the side of the table. Yeah, that makes sense. But I think we can see. Yeah. You also have the cloud. Yeah. There's a cloud of mine and a yeah. fate worse than death. So that was what Sung Ho was commenting on. I mean, that fate was the death. It's not getting played. Why not? Can cancels. What's that? Cancels. Well, Zachary has the cancels to push it through, too. Uh, oh, I guess that's true. Yeah. I mean, he... Sungo yeah. has two. Well, Sungo has censure, and he has... Uh, yeah, I didn't see if he had a censure. I just saw yeah, Sungo's been, ha, had a censure since uh, the start of the game. <laughs> yeah. This is probably an entrenched position, probably right? Since I can hear that. Yeah. Oh, rally the cause. Crap. Oh man, that was unexpected. <laughs> Rally to the cause. So that, yeah, he cha changed it from political to military, and so that sent the li liar and the meek informant home. So let's see here. It's uh, three, six, seven, eight. I'm assuming uh, Zach is defending with everything, or? Um, I'm guessing so. Oh, nope, just those two. So it looks like one plus four. Uh, so first action, he's going to use Social Illusionist. It's only seven for, right? Yeah, only now seven it's... For Sun Hill? Two, three, and one? Oh, no, he's on it. Never mind. My bad. How much is it for... It's seven also for Zach, right? Uh, <laughs> so Sungo just walked away from the table because he needs some dice for the conflict. <laughs> does, does he have them? No, no, he's he's right there. Yeah, I think I think the if my math is right, uh, looks like Zach has. Is it yeah. everyone? No, it's, it's not. Yeah, we got it right. right. Seven, eight. Well, you got it right. I, I was all over the place. Well, I got the table audio, so. Yeah. There is a bonsai in Sungo's hand. Ooh, just a pass. Policy debates. Is that a cancel? Yes. I you have to. Yeah. Censure. Now Zach does have more. Uh, maybe he, maybe Sung Ho policy debates back. I think that's what he should do. Does he have policy? No, I'm mistaken. No. Some charge. Man, that that rally to the cause was huge. Because it is, I mean, I mean, if a charge here it would have been big. a whole lot different. Bonsai. Then he'll do it first. Yeah. Same to 12. Yeah. So he splits it up. Yeah. So uh, let's see. City of the Open Hand is five, like it's five province strength, right? With the rally cost. Yeah. So right now he's breaking. Uh, Zach needs to do something. He's going to try the fate with the Yeah. Oh, no, I was going to try to pause the Yeah. I think here's a, another cancel perhaps. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, he's got to, right? Because he's just going to peel, pull a cancel. No, he's just going to let it happen. Well, I think he's fine with that. Because the thing is... Oh. Dead card. Yeah. 
I guess other way. Now, now the thing is, remember the uh, the first shame is in play, so Sungo has to remember that, yeah. and Zach has to also remember that. So it does get rid of the cancel. Uh, he's still winning. He still has a fate worse than death, right? Yeah, yeah. He's gonna have to use it. Yeah, he does remember the first shame. It's not gonna be enough. No. Oh, oh, that's interesting that he used it. Wasn't he already ahead? After eight player, not yeah. just you. So he swaps? He swaps, but it showed you. So plus, it's plus four, right? Yeah. Okay, I think I got that right. It says ten. Or five plus four, nine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why we have Zach's uh, honor at six, but it's two now. <clears throat> no. So instead of playing the fate worse than death, he goes with Kachiko and then passes. <laughs> eh. No, nah, that wasn't that useful. He gets a policy debate, though. Hmm. That, uh... Wait, so... Isn't this just a win for Zach now? Uh, Kaibosh asks if Sung Ho lost an honor for that bonsai. He did. He, I, he was at, I believe he was at three honor, and then he uh, he paid an honor for the bonsai. Now that's interesting. Oh, okay. So he, he went for fire here because, yeah. Oh, he just concedes. Okay, so S Sung Ho went for the Hail Mary attack on on uh, the City of the Open Hand, assuming that it was an entrenched position, because I think that's what, yeah, that's what a lot of Scorpion players do, but Zachary surprised him with the Rally to Cause, which was actually a huge blowout, because it was a huge reduction in force. Got rid of two of his uh, um, dash characters on the thing. And that was enough for Zach to uh, attack on a post. So congratulations to Zachary. And that I think puts Zachary in first place.